Evocative Media, the real voice of fashion. Oh, hello. Finally, it's here. The top 10 places in Faversham voted last year. The poll was done last year. Filming was done between then and now and editing. And uh, we can finally reveal the top 10. But there are some places that narrowly missed it. One of them I'm standing next to or behind but in no particular order standard key Arden's house the creek TS Hazard Abbey Physic Ospring's Church Shepherd Neen Brewery and the Town Hall all those was that nine were missed missed out and there was only four votes between them nine and uh, the top one of the nine narrowly missed it by two. Oh, it's a lovely evening. But, um, I'm sure you'll want to get on with it. So, number 10 in the list is... Okay then, 10th favourite place is the All Gunpowder Works. The All Gunpowder Works is an important historical site in Faversham. The remains of the gunpowder manufacturing works dating back to the early 18th century include scattered buildings, ruins and earthworks. Despite gravel quarrying, the uh, site remains intact and covered in scrubby woodland. The site was recorded as a scheduled ancient monument and it is certainly a great place for walks for all the family. If you remember my videos or if you watched the videos last year I uh, walked around there with Mike Henderson telling us he was telling us how it all started and uh, yeah so it can only get better what's at number nine number nine we have the Faversham Recreation Ground or the Rec it's a public park in the town, established in, in 1860. It, it covers an area of 20 acres. The Rex's primary, primary objective is to offer valuable green space and recreational facilities for the community to enjoy. And another place for, for nice walks around the edge. Another great place. The uh, I think um, the wreck we've been around a few times. Both places, really good walks. Hope you're enjoying it. I wonder what could be a number eight. Uh, let me think. Let's have a look then, shall we? The eight favourite place in the poll is Stonebridge Pond. Stonebridge Pond is a picturesque pond situated near the centre of town. The pond is a popular site and attracts many visitors due to its tranquil and serene environment. The pond is an important feature of Faversham's landscape and a cherished attraction for both locals and visitors. Okay then, another great one. What one? 
great one to take your children along, feed the ducks, swans, seagulls, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's on the old bench. <clears throat> but what's coming next? What number we at? Number seven. Oh, you'll never guess. Well, number seven. Number seven in the poll is Davington Church. Davington Church is a prominent and much loved local feature which stands above Stonebridge Pond. The Norman Priory Church is the oldest existing building in the Faversham area. Most of its building construction dates from the second half of the 12th century and it was part of Davington Priory. Oh, that is old. <laughs> but, uh, that's number seven gone. And I think we should be going to number six. What is it? Moving on to number six, the sixth favourite place in Faversham is the Maison Dew. The Maison Dew Ospringe is an historic building located in Ospringe. Built in the 13th century as a hospice for pilgrims and travellers. Today, the Maison Dew is a popular tourist attraction. It houses a museum showcasing the history of the building and surrounding area. Okay, that was number six. Yeah, Maison Du, not as old as uh, Davington, but getting there. Right, we're down to number five. Where's that? Oh, number five in the poll is Faversham Cinema, the Royal. It began life as the Odin in 1936. It is in Tudor Beefenstall to blend in with the medieval buildings in the area. The cinema is like stepping back in time, with the decor not changing in 80 years. With its polite staff and great prices, it's no wonder it's one of Faversham's gems. Cinema, what a great place to go! It's a uh, yeah, cheap night. What's a good film? Well, uh, got more number on that, <laughs> not really. Oh, let's look at. Oh, I must remember. I'm sorry about the uh, I completely forgot about the motorway. You go on these nice walks, but. And um, yeah, doesn't help being deaf, mind. But so the sound should be all right. Okay, where, where was I? Number four. Oh, I wonder where that could be. Let's see where we are. What we're thinking. What's at number four? At number four, we have the old grammar school, Masonic Hall. The building, built in 1587, is a timber frame building with, with the first floor overhanging on each side. The ground floor was originally open and used as a playground. Above was a school room and a uh, master study. Well, okay then, that was exciting. The uh, QE or the old grammar, or the Masonic Hall, whatever you want to call it. The old, that'd be the old QE as well, I suppose, or the first QE. <laughs> but, um, okay, as you can see, Osprey shirts behind me. Walked along a little bit. I'm going to um, head towards the church. 
and we'll try and guess out what number three is. And I'll see if you're correct when I get down. Right, and what's at number three? The third favourite place is the arms houses. As these are still used, we only have aerial and from the road footage. The arms houses have been here since 1863. They are the largest in Kent and have a large chapel in the centre. It consists of over 60 units, the majority in the 1863 building. Okay then, as, uh, I've come out of the church because where the bench was there's uh, someone's tending their family grapes so I thought I'd get out but I've got my breath back but now I'm going uphill so um right where are we did you think number three the arms house is what an impressive building that is the sheer size it looks huge from the air as well well, like you've just seen. And, uh, right, come on in, what's number two? Write in the comments, number two is, let's have a look. St. Mary of Charity, Faversham Parish Church. The church was founded in medieval times and is recognized by its 18th century flying spire. It is the second largest church in Canada and has a unique acoustic, allowing it to hold symphony concerts. It reputedly houses the tomb of King Stephen and has a rare medieval pillar. It holds Saturday morning music recitals as well as other functions. Okay, number two, St Mary's Church. Wow. What an impressive building that is. It's, uh, did you guess right for that? That's number two. Hmm, that's all. Can't think what number one is. Uh, I don't know, what is it? Let me guess. Uh, I'll have to go through my list and see whether I can guess. All right, all right. As we, we all know what number one is. And uh, it more than doubled St. Mary's. And it is. Finally, we can reveal the name of the place that has secured the top spot in the poll. Your most favourite place in Faversham is the Gildall. The Gildall is a historic building located in the centre of town. It served as a town hall for over 400 years. The Gildall has been a focal point for local government and civic events for centuries and has seen many important visitors including Queen Elizabeth I. There have been markets around the Gildall since 1574. It is now used as a licensed wedding venue as well as meetings and other activities. It truly is worth number one spot.